just want to start by thanking the sponsors, uh, Councilmember Navarro, Councilmember Rice, and Councilmember Albernos. Uh, appreciate your taking the time to figure out how to proceed with this item. Uh, I know it is a complex question of um, you know building a public-private model, uh, and I think there's far more unknowns than knowns here. But um, I'm, I'm eager to see where this goes. Uh, I want to thank Councilmember Rice for his comments. Um, you know, I, I remember fondly our work together in 2017 to add funding to MCPS's budget so that we could have full day uh, Head Start. Um, and that was that was really the first big step forward in actually creating slots for children to have more childcare. Um, at that same time, we added several million dollars of funding for uh, the subsidies that go to you know, WPA for um, that was this, uh, the first big step, first big step in several years, Councilmember Irvin and Councilmember Navarro worked together to increase WPA um, in 2014-2015. Um, and uh, then in 2018, we added about $5 million, again, mostly with uh, WPA uh, funding. And then in 2019, uh, with Councilmember Navarro's leadership uh, through the Early Care Initiative, we added maybe $8 million, something like that. So that's a lot of money, but it's not it's not enough to cover low income children. And that's kind of been my question is, you know, we, we identified in 2017 that it would take about 30, 35 million dollars to cover all the low income children. And we uh, wanted to proceed kind of year by year, adding four, five, ten million, whatever we could find. Um, so what I'm interested to see is how this entity uh, would essentially meet that. Uh, Councilmember Rice knows well you know, the state was on the verge of taking great responsibility for this funding um, with Kerwin. And we actually have legislation that Nancy King and Ariana Kelly and others enacted that is going to significantly increase the subsidy flow into the county. And so we're waiting to see how that kind of shakes out. It's still very unclear in this COVID environment. Uh, so there's so many pieces swirling now. We have MCPS, we have the state, we have the child care subsidies from the state, we have county funding. We've got to figure out how to prioritize amongst this and what the needs are. So I, I really think this initiative will be very helpful in that. Um, and I really want to thank the sponsors again for uh, working together. Um, and I'm pleased to support it. Thank you.